Tonight, 13 investigates a safety concern involving millions of popular SUVs. The government claims they can have a defect that can be deadly, but a proposed recall is under fire. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel shows you why the controversy could put your family in danger. Do you remember driving that day? No. Do you remember the crash? No. You don't remember the fire? No. She may not remember the accident, but Anna Pena does remember what she looked like before the crash. When I saw me in the mirror say, where is Anna? Where is Anna? What happened to me? Why that happened to me? Why? Anna and her family were driving near Valparaiso last year when a pickup truck hit them from behind. Their Jeep Cherokee immediately burst into flames. Anna was in that driver's seat. Her mother was next to her. And in those two burnt car seats, Anna's six-year-old twins. Passing motorists rescued the kids and Anna's mother with relatively minor injuries. But Anna, she suffered severe burns on 40% of her body. She lost part of her nose, her ears, the tips of all her fingers. It's so painful. Every day, I feel on fire. Anna considers herself lucky. All over the country, people have died in fiery crashes involving vehicles like Anna's. As soon as these vehicles went on the road, they started crashing and burning. Clarence Ditlow runs the Center for Auto Safety in Washington. His organization prompted the government to investigate older model Jeeps, especially Grand Cherokees and Liberties. The concern? The gas tank. On millions of older Jeeps, the tank is located in the very back of the vehicle, just inches from the rear bumper. In rear crashes, consumer advocates say the position of the gas tank puts Jeeps at an increased risk of fire. Because of that, fuel that leaks or spews out of a ruptured tank. For years, the Center for Auto Safety has been asking Chrysler and the government to do something about it. People are burning to death in Jeeps that need not burn to death in Jeeps. There's no question that this should be recalled. Victims have been begging for a recall, too. They say even in high-speed crashes like this, people should be able to escape. But Anna's attorney says they can't because they're trapped by a raging fire caused by a ruptured gas tank. Anna did not suffer a single broken bone. Not one. She should have opened her car door and walked out. But instead, you're stuck in a burning car. This car is not safe and needs to be recalled. Anna is still waiting for a recall on the Cherokee, but this summer, government regulators took action on two other Jeeps with gas tanks just like hers. After a three-year investigation confirming at least 51 deaths, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration sent this letter to Chrysler. It said the older model Grand Cherokee and Liberty are poor performers in terms of fatalities, fires, and fuel leaks in rear-end crashes. NHTSA said there is a performance defect and a design defect involving the gas tanks. And the agency formally requested a safety recall. Chrysler said no. It declined the government's request to recall 2.7 million Jeeps. The automaker sent NHTSA a detailed response, insisting the vehicles in question are safe and do not contain a defect. Chrysler said its gas tanks comply with all safety standards, and the vehicle's crash performance is reasonable and comparable to other SUVs. Despite all that, Chrysler did agree to a more limited recall, and it involves a rather unusual remedy, adding a trailer hitch to some older Jeeps. It's supposed to provide more protection in the back of the vehicle. Chrysler said it would begin contacting dealers and customers in July, but months later, it seems no one's heard a word. This Channel 13 employee owns a Jeep Liberty covered by the limited recall. He has not received the recall notice. So he visited some local Jeep dealers with a hidden camera to see if Chrysler has told them anything. They haven't given us any details on it whatsoever. We just, we have nothing yet. I mean, it's hard to ask Chrysler about it because they have not even admitted to the problem. We don't even know if there's going to be a recall. Chrysler will not meet with 13 Investigates to discuss its recall. But the automaker tells us it's still in the preparation stages and customers will be advised when to schedule an inspection. 
Chrysler told us again it believes the recall Jeeps are not defective. At the same time, it's hard to ignore the underlying problem is still there. Here in Indianapolis, this Jeep Liberty was rear-ended and burst into flames two months after Chrysler announced it was part of the limited recall. The driver, Greg Burgett, is still recovering from severe burns. Like many other Jeep owners, he knew nothing about a recall or even a risk of fire. You didn't get a recall? Nope. I had no idea. I didn't know there was a problem. As customers and dealerships wait to find out when the recall will begin, the bigger question is whether it'll do any good. Will a trailer hitch actually reduce injuries and deaths in Jeeps? Is that really a solution? Does that help? No, it doesn't help. Everybody knows that. Honest truck had a trailer hitch. And it still exploded? Yeah. Yeah. The trailer hitch is a sham. The Center for Auto Safety says it might actually make the problem worse. To explain why, Ditlo points to accidents like the one that killed four-year-old Cassidy Jarman. When her mom's Jeep was rear-ended in Texas, police and Chrysler both concluded it was actually the vehicle's trailer hitch that punctured the gas tank, fueling a deadly fire. Cassidy Jarman was burned to death in a child seat in a survivable rear impact. That's proof positive that trailer hitches don't prevent fire deaths in these vehicles. Chrysler acknowledges the trailer hitch it's proposing might help only in low impact crashes, not in higher speed crashes that have resulted in most of the deadly fires. So many wonder why it's being done at all. My daughter say, Mommy, when you look like normal like me. And victims wonder why Nitsa and Chrysler are not doing more. What do you want Chrysler to do? Take responsibility. Chrysler is just putting up a game of smoke and mirrors about this. And, and it makes no sense, and even worse, people are dying and being severely burned in the meantime. It's important to point out Chrysler moved the gas tank on its newer Jeeps. It's now in the middle, not in the back. And since doing that, the number of deaths in fiery rear-end crashes has plummeted. We went to Washington to talk with NHTSA, but no one from the agency would meet with us. NHTSA's investigation is still open. Now, we have much more for you online. Detailed information about the recalls, all the evidence laid out by NHTSA, Chrysler, and the Center for Auto Safety, and a device that could protect a Jeep's gas tank better than a trailer hitch. That's all at WTHR.com. There are millions of vehicles and families affected by this. That's why we'll keep pushing NHTSA and Chrysler for answers. I'm Bob Siegel, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.